Welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me, which is Market Analyst at Handtech on Tuesday, 24th of September. Looking at gold as my final chart of the day, and gold has picked up in the last three sessions now, three positive candles in a row. Uh, we're now breaking through that 1517 um, old low. We've also seen the market trading through that 1523 uh, reaction high um, from. Um, from the 12th of September. Um, so it's interesting that we've, uh, and that was ECB day, interestingly. Um, so um, yeah, just trying, just seeing the gold price just edging higher. Now, I can probably redraw that uptrend. I mean, it is still effectively an uptrend, you could argue. So it's, um, it's there and redrawn, really. Um, and you see momentum indicators positive. So you've still got what I would conceive to be a positive outlook. And um, I think that uh, you've got the RSI sort of in the mid-high 50s again. That's at uh, two and a half, three-week highs. Uh, you've got the stochastics gaining traction in recovery uh, from a bull cross. You've got the MACD lines close to bull crossing as well. So I think if, um, again, you continue to see the, uh, the market trading above this 21-day moving average, that would um, put certainly a positive outlook, and there is far more of a positive outlook to what could still, to be honest, turn out to be a, uh, an ongoing range between 1481 and 1557 and trading through effectively the middle of that range above their 21 day moving average. That is um, a positive bias to that range. Um, but as I said, trading above that is, um, is, is a far more positive outlook than we've seen for a while. And you can see here on the hourly chart where you've broken out through resistance levels, those resistance levels old resistance levels becoming supported, 15.11 initially the breakout, 15.17 that old low again now becoming a basis of support of a breakout over uh, the last sort of session or so. So it's, uh, it's interesting that the market is now starting to build higher lows and higher highs and starting to push on. So a closing break above 15.27 I think really does sort of gain traction and then you reopen the uh, potential for the test of the highs again. So uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos on YouTube and also go to our website where you can sign up for our webinars.